Hi, boys and girls, it's Gwen, and today we are doing lesson 5.6. It says, what number can you add to 8 to get 10? Draw a picture to solve. Write the unknown number. Well, I know we already have 10 squares, so let's draw 10 circles. Wait, how do you know you have 10? Well, I know we have 10 because that's the whole number we have here. And that's one piece of information I know. So we could draw 10 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to color in eight of these. Why are you coloring in eight? Well, I'm coloring in eight because that's, what, that's the first piece I know. Because it says eight plus blank equals ten. Oh, so eight is one part you know of ten. And you're going to color in those eight to see what the other part is? Yes. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it looks like here that I have two that are not colored in. So I could put a two right here. You know another way you could do this? Well, we could do this like the double switcheroo. We could say 10 minus two equals eight. Because I know that if we switch this around, because I know that eight plus two equals 10, and I know that 10 minus two equals eight. And I see the double switcheroo here where the eight goes from the front to the back, mm -hmm. and the 10 goes from the front to the back and you switched the sign from a minus to a, from a plus to a minus, I see it. But there's another page to this lesson that's very confusing for me because it has a triangle in it. Okay. Let's turn the page to the triangle page. Okay. So this one is actually very much like the double switcheroo. When you open this, you could be a little confused, but you just, you see, find eight min 14 minus eight, 8 plus blank equals 14, and 14 minus 8 equals blank. Well, since we just did that, we could do it again. So I counted out these 14 pennies. First, it says 8 plus what equals 14. But I know an easier way. I'm are gonna... you sure those are 14? You better count them. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a subtraction because I think that's the easiest way because you can't color in pennies. Okay, so let's take away 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we took away the 8. We don't need these anymore. Okay, see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pennies left. So, first, we could write our six here. So then... Oh, that's how the triangle works. This is the whole, which is the large amount. Yeah. And this is one part, which is eight. And this is the other part, which is six. Yeah. So, eight plus six equals 14. And 14 minus eight equals six. So then, we would put our six in that box right there. Oh, and so they'll just count out on, say, for number two... They count out 17 pennies and then take eight pennies away to see what the other part is. Yep. I got it. Gwen, you're a genius. 